Hey everyone, David White here from Essential Marketing. Today we're gonna to be wrapping up our three-part series of why we love marketing with something that is hopefully a tool for those of you who are ready to take the next steps in their marketing career. You might be ready to apply for a job, apply for an internship role, and for you, we have a cheat sheet available that we're gonna be sharing with you of what it is that we look for um, uh, as we're hiring people. Have a look. So this is really kind of more a uh, cheat sheet and um, every business is a little bit different, um, but I think that you'll probably find some similarities in here that, uh, that you would uh, see with any kind of business that you might be applying for. And also I'm more than happy to kind of share what I'm seeing because I'm constantly getting resumes and applications from people. And so number one thing that we're looking for is like how motivated is an individual, right? And um, so for us, we actually appreciate cold calls. And you would be surprised it doesn't really happen that much from applicants. And one of our best hires was actually somebody who came off a cold call. She literally just picked up the phone, said, hey, I'm about to finish my degree in marketing and I just want a job shadow. And we had her come in and we said, look, you're more than qualified. You're not just gonna job shadow, we're gonna offer you a job, right? And because she was able to answer this question with high marks of that, she's extremely motivated, right? Um, and then number two, the question that we ask ourselves is how likely will they keep a job for longer than a year? And so very practically, sp practically speaking, one of my encouragements, because I've seen this happen with other applicants, is they will leave off maybe jobs that they had sort of you know, at a retail store or as a barista because they think it's not relevant. Well, that's something that I'm actually looking for. If you're able to hold a job, you know, even if it's a small little job for longer than a year, that's a really good sign for me, right? And, um, and so um, that is one thing that, uh, that, you know, if you have those kind of um, line items on your resume, you will be able to separate yourself from the crowd because a lot of people, they just, they're not, they don't have that type of uh, timetable on their resume where they've been able to keep jobs for a longer period of time. So it's something that's really important for us. Um, number three, attention to detail. So typically when we have a job application, uh, a job ad out there, we always have a few questions that we're asking people and it's, and it's, but they're purposely placed because we're trying to see how attentive are they to be able to answer all questions. We have five questions in there, we're expecting five answers. If there's four, they don't even make the cut. Like we're not gonna, we wouldn't, we wouldn't really uh, consider them for the next round. So attention to detail is really, really important. Um, and then number four, this is typically the very first question that we ask applicants, and that is, what do you know about us? And you'd be surprised how many people do not do any kind of research <laughs> about the company that they're applying for. It sounds like it would be a no-brainer, but. I feel like somebody probably needs to hear this because you'll have a competitive advantage by just doing a little bit of research of who the company is that you're applying for and expecting the question, what do you know about us? And number five is um, then that's where we start. And so one thing that I, I really wanna make clear for us is those four things are actually more important than sort of the work experience or education, like those things do matter, but in terms of how we begin filtering people out is th those are more important to us, right? Because when it comes to the hands-on marketing, those are things that we can teach, right? And, but it's very difficult to teach an individual sort of attention to detail and that type of thing, right? And so, but then we obviously were taking a look at work experience and um, irrespective if it was paid or if it's internship work or friend or work that the, somebody has done for an uncle and a friend of a family, like those are things that are valuable for us. Um, and then last but not least is then um, at their education. And, but for us, it's really more of a bonus, you know. Um, and so, yeah, so like I said, it's more of a cheat sheet, if anything. What we're kind of seeing is as we, um, the most recent position that we had hired for was in customer service um, with 100 resumes that we might receive, um, I would say 10% will even make it through the cut of that they've answered the questions, right? And, um, 
and that you know they have any kind of indication on their resume that they've been able to keep a job for longer than a year. Can I add something? Sure. Yeah, I asked David to add this to, to his sort of um, presentation for us because, and I don't think we've had, we've, we haven't done this part in prior classes, but I know some of you are already working successful business owner professionals. Some of you might even be hiring people, so that might be helpful to you from that perspective. But I wanted him, I, I wanted to ask him about this specifically because I think, you know, we have some people in here who are, you know, still looking for jobs or trying to figure out what they're going to do. But I think it's also, you know, I told you at the beginning of the class that this, this class is also about not just marketing a product or a service, but also about marketing you and your skills, you know, to, to an employer for a promotion if you're already in the job you want to be in, but maybe you want to move up in your company. Um, and so I think this is an important point of marketing too, is that, all of these things, these we call them soft skills, but really, <laughs> they're really, really important, right? The hard skills of the education and the career and the experience of work, actually, he's saying those are those are below importance level of the soft skills of, like you said, do you show up on time? Are you committed? Uh, do you, can you hold down a job for more than a, you know a few months? Because unfortunately, a lot of people today, it's like flavor of the month, right? They get tired of something, and boom, they're gone. So these are really, really important things that, you know, I learned at a young age working in a family business, fixing up houses at 12 years old with my, with my grandparents and my parents, but I'm noticing like these aren't things that are taught anymore necessarily, right? So um, that's, sorry to, yeah. sorry to get on a soapbox, but I think, I think this is like really important to, to employers and he just confirmed exactly, you know, all the reasons why we need to make sure that we're marketing our own skills well to the employer and, you know, like you said, not leaving off things like, Oh, I only worked at this retail shop, but was for three years, and you showed that you could move up, right? So those are those are really important things. So thanks for bringing this part into the presentation. Yeah, I definitely. Know, I know it's just like we don't think about that as marketing, but it is marketing, right? Yeah. So absolutely. So yeah. I'm just this is something I I thought that as far as marketing, you would need it. To actually work for someone. Catherine's shaking her head. You do it right now. I started, I started as the guest service representative at BJ's, and then, like, within the first year, I was the manager there, and within the next year, I was the marketing manager. So, and I don't have a marketing background, I've never done mar marketing. But I learned everything just working there. I think it's a lot like sales, right? It's like, do you have to be have a degree and have formal sales training to be a good salesperson? Not necessarily. It helps, certainly. Like, right, it's training in your field is going to help you. But like he's saying, this is not a hard requirement that you must have a degree to be successful at marketing. Like, it's more about you as a person, right? It's more about what you bring to the table. Yeah. And are you willing to learn? Are you willing to grow? The, hopefully the stuff he's sharing, like you guys are getting a sense of like, this is, like what we learned in the class is the, is the bones and the principles of marketing, but this is the real world stuff that people use and you don't need a degree to understand that conversion formula like you just uh, you just learn it and then you do it by practicing and doing what he does every day which is being in the field and helping people succeed right so yeah uh, yeah I, I did it I ran an ad I ran a few ads to Indeed like trying to kind that one time I found out I was like oh they have a voice like I could have they were going to be the receptionist and call me and uh, I think I had like 70 people to buy but only like six people did the voice thing. Yeah. So I mean, it was like I mean, look at it, it's like, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. 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 So, so yeah, I mean, just to like for us to unpack a little bit more, but and also your question about if a marketing degree is is necessary for us, not it isn't, right? Um, sort of hard skills that we would look at is going to be um, writing skills. So actually, let me take a step back. So like our process is. We put a job application out there. Usually people would apply to the job then via email or via video. So we also have a video app where people, they can uh, respond to a few questions. And, um, and so um, usually we're taking a look at their resume, you know, have they been able to hold a job for you know, longer than a year, and then have they answer all the questions. And then, uh, and then typically we have a Zoom interview uh, that's about 30 minutes. And then uh, the final candidates we bring in for a work interview that lasts two to three hours. And so depending on the job, and our jobs are gonna be either more 
hands-on operations sort of marketing. And in that, you are, you're going to be doing a lot of writing skills. We'll ask you to write a press release. We'll ask you to maybe write you know, a uh, web page on a, on a specific piece of content. So in that time frame, you're going to do some research because you might not know anything about it, and you're going to write something about it. Um, so that's going to be more hands-on operational marketing, and irrespective if you're helping an SEO, search engine optimization, or if you're helping with advertising, writing is core. All the other stuff, the conversion formula stuff, analytics, data, usually we have to teach that anyway. And the, and the reason also being is it's also sort of our number two of why we love marketing so much. It's constantly changing, yeah. right? So by the time you got your degree and you apply to, to apply for a job, right? Then then it's like, oh well, you know, it's like Google is constantly changing stuff, Facebook's, and so so that's stuff that we're constantly learning ourselves, and we're going to teach the individual. The other avenue for us is more on the sales and customer service side. So there we would be um, in the work interview. It's going to be more focused on presentation skills, customer service skills, and that type of thing. So hopefully that was helpful to you, especially for those individuals who are now applying for a job with David White Marketing Services. Bonus points if you are able to reference this video and that you've seen it. Um, but uh, uh, for everybody else, hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, we would appreciate the thumbs up and if you would subscribe to the channel. Take care and bye.